We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. So I'm set up guys, I'm using the nature hike, is it Mango, M-A-N-G-A-R, something like that. It's basically the MSR copy of that bad boy, right? Bugsy boys get the MSR. So we're camping below Loudon, Loudon Hill. We were going to camp up there, but it's like Piccadilly Circus up there, so... We decided to camp down here in the woods. We did invite Colin, but Colin bombed us out. He says he's got somewhere else better to camp, so... That is what it is. So, there we go. There's my setup, guys, using the usual reflective mat. I'm using my uni, uni gear, comfy, the comfy mat thing. I'm using the Nature Hike, Nature Hike Snowbird minus two. Got the Quishard pillow. I'm using the Nature Hike rock. I'm rocking Nature Hike today. I've got all my Nature Hike gear on. So, back out with Bugsy boy. Right, should we ask about the the sleeping bag? How's the sleeping bag, Bugsy? Oh, fantastic, Stuart. Salty. Soap, Stuart. Oh, you got enough. Right, yummy, 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 as always. So mines, all mine. Lovely lamb chops. New Zealand lamb chops. Wait, comment below. I need a haircut. <laughs> Lego man here. <laughs> so we're chilling below the Loudon Hill. Loudon Hill's over there. Bugsy boys, get yourself a new saw. Let's see your saw, Bugsy. I just thought it's a bit so, a lightweight one. Sure. He's got this little uh, open L, right? I got the wee knife to go with. He's it, got the knife. Rather than some days where you wouldn't carry a saw, I thought just to throw that wee saw in the bottom of your bag. It weighs virtually nothing, and you know, it's, it's it could be handy. You know, I usually use the uh, backhoe. Had silkies, but I thought the blades are very fragile in the folding out silkies. You know, uh, I've never, I've never had an open L saw, so I can't mm, say. Nor have I. I don't know. That's it, and it's not been used. You see that it's not yeah. been used, so we'll find out one way or the other. Nobody really has them on YouTube. It's always the, as you say, silkies and the backos, isn't it? Yeah. So I know the knives are amazing, so I'm sure the saws are amazing as well. Well, so I'm trying to find the weight of it here. I don't think it's a lot. Bugsy boy's little purchase. I cut my hand climbing over a bloody fence. But so we're gonna get the fire going. I've brought a little fire log. There's tons of wood, right? We were gonna camp in this little woodland here and it seemed to have been chopped down, so is what it is. What well, can we I've do? Been from the last time we were here. Yeah, I know it used to be we've actually camped here before. Cool little spot, but it's now it's fine. So that's what it was, it was below the Loudon Hill. So I've got my Yellowstone grill. So we'll put that together. Right, I'm sure you I'm sure you've seen it. I've got a video on YouTube showing it. Yeah. There it goes. Right. There we go. And then the piece. Goes in like there. You've got a little piece for the bottom to hold your ash. Just a little ash pan. Done. 
So there we go. For the little grill. We're going to have a little fire in that. I'm going to test the open L. Going to cheat with a fire lug. So I'll bring you back. Do you find out the weight, Bugsy? Still looking. Nah. Fuck it weighs. I got it, 102 grams. Do you know, I was just about to say 102 grams though. There you go. <laughs> and I've scaled. You know what I mean? The scales of justice. Yeah. The Hundred, I, I was going to just, just, just at the same point I that Bugsy said. When I read it, I thought it was pretty light. So I thought, do you know what? See, for 102 grams, it's worth putting thrown just in the bottom of your rucksack and forgetting about it until the point you, you, may, need, you may need it. You know? Yeah. How's the sod then, Bugsy? Well, it's cutting through things. Is it good? 102 grams, sure. Yeah. That's what it weighs. 102 grams, so it's worth having. Do you, re say. do you reckon it's better than the Laplander? Eh, uh, no. No. Uh, better than the Silky? No, I mean, I would say it's better mm. than either of them, no. I'd say that it's 102 grams. But you would take it's it? an option if you're actually... See the times when you're thinking, I'm going hiking, right? on a multi-day hike and you're not really going to take a saw because of weight I would say for 102 grams that gives you an option to carry a saw throw it in the bottom of your bag and have a saw there for the odd night you maybe need to dry out dry out your stuff that type of thing you know uh, <clears throat> so the little fire's gone, a treat. Bugsy boy likes a little fire pit and he's ordered one. Right. They're pretty cool them, aren't they? Yeah, it's ideal. Ideal. Okay. Ideal, two kilograms. Square, because so it, it takes the wood better. And also, it, it comes in at the side, so it forces everything back into the middle again. Keeps the fire off the ground. And it was, what, £15? Yeah, yeah. Three ninety five yeah. to get it delivered. I think that's worth worth that. Yep. Contains the fire as well. Keeps it in a small area, and you use less wood. One or one off chicken dinner. So thanks to Bugsy, he's got me the survival kit, right? Well, you'll survive now, Stuart. I'll definitely survive now. You'll survive, alright. I've got the survival kit, right? So, what is in a survival kit? That you get for Bugsy Boy, right? Everything that you need, right? It says on the back, so you can read it from the back there. Oh, I was going to show it. I know, you go show it as well, but you just want to do the full flight uh, itinerary. Anyway. Right, so... Little light, look. Little O-light. We've got a... Uh, what have we got here? Is this a bottle opener? Bottle opener, can opener. Compass. Oh yes, there we go. Little compass. Oh, we are little, laughing. Little magnifying glass, look. Yes. So, thanks to Bugsy boy. I'll survive. Survive a drinking session in the park. <laughs> a tin opener and a torch to get home when you're absolutely yes. drunk. Yeah. Well, I don't drink, but, I know, but, if you did. but I'll survive. So my little stove's been good, I've had a nice little fire, me and Bugsy boy's chilling around the fire, it's pitch black, sitting looking at the stars, you know, can't see any of that on the video, but the stars are amazing tonight, all you can see is darkness probably, but I think I'm going to go to my bed, I'm yawning, oh, me too. That rod has been quite noisy. It's nice, but see when you just sit here, right, and you can see the cars going past, look. It's nice. They're about half a mile away, aren't they? Yeah, it's quite a bit away. But you can hear them, can't you? You can't seem to see them in the video, but there's two cars going past them. There and there. But, so... 
good little fire. Morning guys, I got an awesome sleep, went to bed about half ten. Half ten, I think I was sleeping for about eleven. <clears throat> I will be honest, you could hear the traffic where I was. I really should have brought some uh, earplugs, but I never I got a good sleep. So I'm gonna have a brew, I'm gonna have my usual brew, my NY coffee. Easy peasy, three in one. And that's a view, isn't it? Look at that, it's a lovely view. Ah, can't beat it, can't you not? My brew ready. Oh, if I can get it one handed. There we go, brew by view, guys. Lovely jobly. So, brew time. So that's the tent I'm using guys, it's the Nature Hike, is it Manga, if I can focus, sorry, M-A-N-G-A-R, I got it in purple, tons of room, right, there's the room inside, <laughs> tons of room, so that's me, I'm all packed, that's where my tent was, uh, over there, rucksack's all packed, got myself a new rucksack, it's the Nature Hike Rock 60 plus 5, it's got a huge big pouch. I'm going to do a separate video of the rucksack. So, my little stove packed away nicely as well. Look, very small little handbag. Look, I like that stove, I need to use it more. So, that's me, I'm off. Trip back to the car, it is only like half a mile to the car, maybe not even that. Forgot the camera there. Right, I'm off guys. Thanks for watching.